हेलो फ्रेंड्स सो आफ्टर सो मैनी ईयर्स वी हैव न्यू इन्हेंसमेंट्स इन ओल्ड बर्ट मॉडल सो मॉडर्न बर्ट हैज कम एज अ न्यू मॉडल विच इज़ अवेलेबल बोथ इन बेस विच इज़ वन थर्टी नाइन मिलियन पैरामीटर्स एंड लार्ज विच इज़ थ्री नाइन्टी फाइव मिलियन पैरामीटर्स एंड इट क्लेम्स टू बी बोथ गुड इन टर्म्स ऑफ स्पीड एंड एक्यूरेसी सो एज यू आर अवेयर बर्ट मॉडल्स एंड नाउ द मॉडर्न बर्ट मॉडल इज इन कोडर ओनली मॉडल्स एंड देर आर मैनी एप्लीकेशन वेर इट कैन बी यूज फॉर एग्जाम्पल आवर ओल्ड रैक पाइप लाइन्स एंड रिकमेंडेशन सिस्टम्स सो वन गुड थिंग इज मॉडर्न बर्ड इंक्रीजेस कॉन्टेक्स लेंथ टू एट के टोकन्स एंड देर आर फ्यू लिमिटेशन ऑल्सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल इट इज प्राइमरली trained with english and code so performance may be lower for the languages so in today's tutorial what we are going to do is we are going to see some very basic examples for example you know doing a simple masking and trying to guess exactly what could be the next token for a specific mask so it's a very basic example another thing what we are going to do is we are going to do a simple binary classifier so we are going to use a binary classifier with transformers model and we are going to use modern bird to you know predict at the end for a binary classifier so let's get started so here is the code so what i have done is i have put everything into dev container so that my development environment remains isolated so i will be putting everything in git so uh, what you have to do is you just have to run docker container and post that in visual studio code you have to just open this particular folder post getting this from git so just open it everything will be installed and all the python packages that we need to install they will be installed by default so you will have transformers you will have you know hugging face uh hugging face transformer scikit learn all those things will be automatically installed for you and what i have done is i have just put two notebooks uh, so that you can run it and in the first notebook what we are doing is you know very very simple thing what we are doing is we are using you know the modern bird base library uh, modern bird base model to just you know predict the mask so for example you are saying here the capital of france is mask and what it is going to do is it is going to download the model and it is going to fill that slot empty slot and here for example what it has done is it has given you few options so for example one is paris second is lyon and so on so everything will be done here so since k equals to 3 there will be three options given with score so if you see the capital of france is paris has the highest score so that is what it does uh the second example is little uh, complex and it is nothing but a, a transformers classification a binary classification using modern bird rather than bird so what we are doing here is again i will just walk through this uh the notebook will be available but what we are essentially doing is we are instantiating the tokenizer here as well as the model and what we are going to use is we are going to use the modern bird base here rather than you know uh, doing something else so you download the tokenizer you download the model you load that that's what you are going to do then what we are trying to do here is we are just making you know a simple binary classifier that gives you the positive and negative sentiment so what we have done here is we have provided few examples some negative examples like gloomy future and so on some positive examples like you know positivity and all so this will act as a sentiment model and we have labels for it for example zero represents you know negative examples positive represents one example you know uh, one one represents positive example and so on so this is a uh, toy example set with very limited value but in real world you will have a plethora of data that you can use so that's what we have done so we have defined few examples again you can extend those examples and then what we did is we just loaded it this into the data set format so that's what we are going to do and then again just like we do you know with tokenization we tokenize this sentences these sentences 
that's what we are doing in this pre-process function so we essentially are tokenizing everything and then what we do is we next are going to train it so this is all you know boilerplate code to tokenize the sentences and then what we are trying to do is we are providing training arguments uh, to a method called trainer so basically trainer will have this training arguments again this is sort of boilerplate for transformers so you just need to you know put some parameters where your you know model will be saved how many epochs it will run and so on again if you want you can just use the default value or you can change with the change these values and post that it starts running and post training we are also saving it in a folder called binary classifier so that's essentially what we are trying to do and it takes a lot of time to run this so for example i'm just running it for you know 20 epochs here sorry five epochs here and you know you can run as many epochs as you like and again uh, i will not go into details of you know exactly how you can do because this is a tar example but essentially what we are trying to do is rather than using some other model we are using modern modern bot with the transformers library this is all standard code and post you have saved it you again reload it from the folder where you have saved it and once you load the model as well as tokenizer what you do is you predict so basically your model is saved now you have trained it for a very very new sentence you just wanted to predict whether it's a positive or negative sentiment so for that we have written something called predict sentiment and what it does is it takes a short sentence and it gives you the sentiment so that's what essentially it is going to do so we call this and we have a sentence a very small sentence called beautiful day and it gives the prediction as positive similarly we say i hate this weather it gives prediction as negative so this is what has been done and again this is a very basic example but we just wanted to play around with the you know modern bird so I will definitely use modern bird in many of the use cases where I am working on. Uh, but yeah, it's worthwhile to see, you know, some enhancement in the old bird model. So thanks team. Thanks for watching. Bye.